Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna to talk to you briefly about how to kill fungus gnats in your house plants. And sometimes these little gnats can be so annoying. Um, what happens is what they do is when you have a plant that's either um, continually being watered or if you have a soil that's made up of a lot of organic matter, the little gnats will start to lay larva, in, larva into the soil, which will cause your gnat infestation. Um, and aside from them being really annoying, they also could have an impact on the root of the plant. So it's gonna be really important that if you start noticing gnats, you wanna go ahead and try to get rid of them as quickly as possible. So here are a few things that I use. Neem oil, I got this, or neem spray. I brought this from the um, my local garden store. I don't really like this one. It is an organic um, oil, but it has a really funny smell and it's actually kind of expensive. So you can spray this all over the, um, the, the root of the plant, the leaves and everything, and that will help to kill the, the, the gnats. Another thing that you might wanna try is, if you have a, you know the adult, the adult gnats, the ones that are flying all around, you might want to um, get rid of those and you can do that by taking a plastic cup and filling the bottom of the cup, about a half a cup um, of, with um, a half a cup of cider vinegar. So that would allow the gnats that are flying around to um, land in the cup and then drown. <laughs> so I sound so sad. But what would you what you would do, like I say, is just put the vinegar in the cup. You're gonna cover it with some saran wrap or even a plastic bag. You're gonna wanna secure that really tightly and then um, either use tape or a rubber band. And I'll show you that. So you see here, this is what it would look like. You would just have the saran wrap, saran wrap stretched across a cup using the rubber band to make it taut. And then you'll just take something and just poke holes in the top. This will allow the smell to release and the gnats will then fly to investigate and then get into the cup, but they cannot get back out. Um, another way that you can um, help control your gnats is what I call what I found um, on inter on the internet was pumice stone or pumice stone. You would just align your the top of your plants with this stone, and then it would kind of smother out the gnats. Now, now I couldn't find this anywhere in the store, so I ended up having to order this online. And I'll leave a link in the description as to where I purchased it from. But this is really cool because it allows the plants to look really pretty. So it's actually, it, it controls the gnat and it also makes it look really pretty, which, you know, I'm all for that. So there is another way. The last way, which is also the, probably the first thing I would try, is take um, some vinegar, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, put it in a spray bottle, add about four or five, um, drops of dish detergent and then just spray that on your household plants and the soil and everything every time you water it you so really that's pretty much it um that's how i take care of my gnats i just do the neem oil the vinegar spray the puma stones and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below also please be sure to check out my last videos thanks again for watching bye y'all